we're on our walk to the Museum of Natural History where we will be researching our taxonomic group. Lepidoptera, as an order, is one of the most diverse in the known world. It is only beaten in size and abundance by Coleoptera, the order of the beetles. The name Lepidoptera is derived from the Greek for scaly-winged, which refers to the characteristic of microscopic, dust-like scales on the wings. This order includes butterflies, moths and skippers. Lepidoptera belongs to the kingdom Animalia, the phylum Arthropoda and class Insecta. It currently contains over 46 superfamilies and 126 families, with around 95% being nocturnal moths, numbering 160,000 species. Butterflies number around 28,000 species, and skippers number a mere 3,500 species. The life cycle of Lepidoptera consists of four stages, egg through to larva, larva through to pupa, and the pupal stage through to adult. The adults then relay eggs on leaves. This is known as complete metamorphosis. The first insects evolved around 300 million years ago and were a lot larger than their modern day counterparts due to the increased oxygen levels in the atmosphere. The first Lepidopterans evolved from Trichoptera, the caddisflies, between 140 and 200 million years ago during the Cretaceous period. This was also known as the age of flowering plants. A fossilised butterfly was discovered in Colorado, USA. It had been dated around 30 million years old. Podrias Persephone was the first well-preserved fossil butterfly to be found in North America, and after examination, the species' closest living relatives were found to be the mapwing butterflies, Hypernatia, and the African admirals, Antonatia. It is thought the earliest butterflies were originally from the singular landmass Pangaea. Pangaea started to break up into different continents around 130 million years ago, separating the few prehistoric butterfly species across the world. External morphology describes the outer body features Lepidopterans hold, which serve a purpose to aid survival. Both butterflies and moths share similar features that vary, but are in line with these physical aspects. Antennae structure and shape, resting wing position, pupil stages, moths' wings also possess a frenulum. In the field, identification of adult Lepidoptera is done by comparing features like coloration, patterns, wingspan and shape. Taxonomists rely on the genitalia and DNA sequencing in order to successfully classify. As seen, this coloration and patterning can be very diverse, giving the beautiful species present today. Lepidopterans share much of their internal morphology with other members of class and sector. They are invertebrates, which means they lack an internal skeleton. They also possess a long, chambered heart which runs along the dorsal side of the organism, as opposed to the classic four-chambered heart. They do not have blood, rather they use a substance known as hemolymph, which is also found in organisms such as lobsters. Instead of the classic lung, they have spicules to allow oxygen directly into the trachea. Spicules are tiny holes in the skin. Order Lepidoptera also have crops, and these are known as their foregut. These enable the storage of food substances prior to digestion. Polymorphism is the clear alternative phenotypes of two or more organisms in a population. This results in an array of Lepidopterans with diverse appearances. It can be driven by natural selection as individuals need to possess a certain trait in order to survive predation and competition. It can occur as differences between the sexes, also known as sexual dimorphism. This is normally shown in this order as differences in the wing coloration, as males possess brightly coloured wings linked to courtship behaviour and females possess more dull appearances. Polyphenism is alterations in phenotypes due to environmental pressures. Again, this affects the wing morphology of Lepidopterans depending on the season. This is seen generally in tropical species, and in particular by Cyclus aninana, the African butterfly, as in the dry season, as shown in figure 1, it lacks eye spots on its wings in order to hold a more cryptic appearance amongst drier leaves. However, in the wet season, they have numerous eye spots with larger diameters, which is thought to be linked to warding off predators, as when they flash their wings, these eye spots give a warning signal that they are larger and not the organism they appear to be. Lepidopterans have adapted in numerous ways in order to enhance survival. I will now discuss a few of the fascinating ways these organisms have evolved. 
Larvae will spin silk threads in order to maintain a firm grip onto surfaces in which they live. This silk is used to construct protective shelters from predators. Yucca moths have specialised mouth parts which take form in the form of tentacles. This is in order to gather and carry balls of pollen. They lay their eggs in the ovaries of yucca flowers so that their offspring can feed on the seeds. In doing this, pollination occurs as the moth takes pollen to each flower. They have evolved to depend on these moths for this sole purpose. Moths have adapted to have dense hairs and scales which increase their ability to be slippery and escape predation, such as being caught in spiderwebs. The adults of most Lepidopteran species are fast and erratic and when escaping will dart and become immobile in order to be cryptic. Owlet moths have developed the ability to identify bat navigational sound pulses as these are their main predator. Depending on the ultrasonic frequencies they pick up, they will perform the best manoeuvre which will result in survival. Lepidopterans display different behavioural adaptations that can be dependent on their environment. Firstly, they are cold-blooded, which means they rely on external heat sources to provide them with enough heat to survive and function. By flattening their wings, they increase their surface area, allowing more heat to be absorbed. Having a dark body also aids in this. Lepidopteran feeding behaviour is one of the main behaviours that depends on environment. They possess a proboscis, a long thin tube used for sucking nectar out of plants. In forest or rainforest dwellers, they use this to feed on fermenting fruit, as flowering plants are often unavailable. Male Lepidopteran species also partake in a behaviour known as puddling. This is where male Lepidopterans drink from puddles, wet soil and wet sand to absorb moisture and salts. It is believed that salts help to benefit the fertility of male Lepidopterans. As previously mentioned, Lepidoptera is one of the most diverse orders in the known world. This diversity can be affected by many different things. A study undertaken by Vu and Vu 2011 showed that butterfly species of the order Lepidoptera are more diverse in areas of disturbed forests as opposed to natural forests. This increased diversity in disturbed forests may be due to the greater diversity of plant life, in particular the greater diversity of flowering plants, which provide a food source for the Lepidopterans. However, if a disturbed forest becomes urbanised, the diversity begins to decrease, a diversity trend seen often in nature and known as the intermediate disturbance hypothesis. Ferro and Romanowski, 2012, found that within tiger moths, species diversity was increased in grasslands that were sampled in an area of southern Brazil, as opposed to a forested area within that same region. This then contradicts the previous theory that forests, as a more complex and therefore more heterogeneous habitat, are the preferred habitat for Lepidopterans. Despite the obvious contradictions, a pattern can be observed relating to the diversity of members of order Lepidoptera. The more diverse the flora of an environment, particularly the diversity of flowering plants, the larger the range of Lepidopteran species that will be found in that area. Lepidopterans, alongside being one of the most diverse orders, are widely distributed across the globe. However, tropical regions are a clear preference for many species. Members of this order display a necessity for certain environmental features. Temperature tolerance, food availability and roosting sites will all contribute to Lepidopteran distribution. Many Lepidopteran species are also migratory, such as the butterfly species Vanessa cardui. These migrations may begin spontaneously, but all individuals affected will migrate to the same area once this has begun. From an evolutionary perspective, this was necessary to avoid the seasonal extremes present on the singular landmass. The alternative was to remain in a state of torpor, or inactivity, which left them open to predation.